Hey guys, it's Emma here, and today we are going to be playing Minecraft Story Mode. I just bought this game literally 20 minutes ago, and now we're going to be playing it. So, let's get started. Choose our appearance. Ooh. Girl. Okay, mm I'm going to be her. And like she's like I don't care okay so there's there's like it's gonna be an episode um, it's an episodic what the fuck is that called episodic right no not sure it's one of those series it's telltale and I love telltale games so I had to play it um but there, I'm pretty sure there's five episodes Okay. All right. So we're gonna start with episode one, and we'll see how it goes. Here we go. The game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. Nothing built can last forever, and every legend, no matter how great, fades with time. With each passing year, more and more details are lost until all that remains are myths, half-truths. To put it simply, lies. And yet, in all the known universe, between here and the Far Lands, the legend of the Order of the Stone endures, unabridged as self-evident fact. Indeed, it is only a troubled land that has need for heroes. And ours was fortunate to have, so long ago, four heroes such as these. I'm liking Gabriel, the graphics the warrior, of this. Before whose Looks sword all like combatants would tremble. Real. Eligard, the redstone engineer, whose machines would spark an era of invention. <laughs> Magnus the Rogue who would channel his destructive creativity for the benefit of all. And Soren, the architect, builder of worlds, and leader of the Order of the Stone. These four friends together would give so much to gain their rightful place as four heroes. Their greatest quest would take them on a dangerous journey to fight a mysterious creature known as the Ender Dragon. In the end, the Order of the Stone emerged victorious, and the dragon was defeated. Their story complete, they slipped away into the pages of legend. So I guess that was background. But when one story ends, another one begins. Would you rather fight a hundred chicken-sized zombies or ten zombie-sized chickens? Just to be clear, you wouldn't um, have any weapons or armor, so you'd have to fight them with your hands. Chicken-sized zombies. I'll take the little tiny little zombies. A hundred of them, crawling all over you with their tiny hands. Yeah. Uh. All I need is like a shovel. Oh my god, I'm she telling sounds you, like me. Way like, too easy. She sounds like a heartless bitch like me. So I've got a daylight sensor on the roof. Mm -hmm. And if I did this uh -huh. right, these lamps should turn on once it gets dark. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to just leave Reuben here with nothing while we're at the building competition. He's coming with us? Really? <laughs> what kind of question is that? Of course he is. Okay, I'm not saying he shouldn't come. I'm not. <laughs> But don't you think it's a little weird that you take him with you everywhere you go? No. He kind of makes us look like... I don't know. Right, Ruben's amateurs. my best friend. Ruben's my best friend. I thought I was your best friend. Well, both of you are. I didn't mean anything by it. I'm glad he's coming. I just don't want to give people one more reason to call us losers. I'm getting tired of it. Who cares what they think? I'm tired of being a laughing stock. We aren't losers. We are not losers, Olivia. We lose all the time. It's okay. what we do. Okay. That might be true. I can't remember the last time we won anything. But if that's the case, it means we win at being losers. <laughs> <laughs> all right. 
Do you hear that? Oh, no. Whoa! <laughs> You guys totally freaked out. That was uh... Uh, Axel, what's the matter with you? <laughs> Great. Now I'm gonna smell like a pig in Endercon. Not funny. That wasn't funny, Axel. I brought you good times and now I'm being punished for you it? You scared us half to death. Did you bring the fireworks? Of course I did. I even brought something for the little guy. Nice. You brought Reuben a disguise? Um, we're <laughs> going to a convention. Somebody's gotta wear a costume. <laughs> He looks awesome. He looks awesome. It only took me like a million hours to build it. All right, all right. You definitely brought the fireworks, right? Yes, I'm ready. I'm waiting on you guys. Uh -huh. If he was really your best friend, you wouldn't let him go outside dressed like that. The only thing more dangerous than putting a costume on a pig is trying to take it off. <laughs> Hurry up and grab your stuff. We'll meet you downstairs, okay? Okay. Oh my. Okay. Okay, so let's just do some. Look Gabriel at. the Warrior. You think we'll ever get that famous? <laughs> it's not impossible. Maybe I'll get famous for my sweet poster collection. Alright, so what do I need to get? Search. Uh, flint and steel, not too shabby. Okay. Open. Shears. Definitely taking these. Never know when I might need to shear some sheep. This is really weird. Anything else? Don't really need to look at the banner. I got the stand as a gift, but I don't have any armor to put on it. Maybe someday. <laughs> Maybe someday. I want to set the house on fire. Can I do that? Don't want to leave anything. Let's talk to Reuben. Give me a dragon war, Reuben. <laughs> nice roar. That'll do, Reuben. That'll do. That it? Okay, I think that's it. Let's 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 leave. <laughs> Total thug going down the ladder. That's everything. Let's roll. Yeah, dude. Roll. Let's go. I heard a pretty juicy rumor about the building competition. But you guys have to promise not to say anything. Okay. Also, it's in two parts. Each part more exciting than the last. Spit it out, Axel. Mm -hmm. Part one, the special guest at this year's Entercon is none other than Gabriel the warrior him freaking self. Whoa! What's part two? Part two, according to my sources, the winner of the building competition is going to get to meet him. It doesn't mean anything if we lose. Uh, but if we win, oh man, this would I'd make up for all the Gabriel. losing. Meeting Gabriel would be a dream and an honor. Totally. He's awesome. It'd be amazing to Aren't meet him. Aren't you like 80 years old? Reuben better be careful in that costume. The last time Gabriel saw a dragon, it didn't end well. So, does this source of yours make posters for a living? Huh? <laughs> yeah, my uh, source uh, doesn't exist. You guys are my only friends. Guys, oh, let's sad. stay focused. <laughs> we have a competition to that's win. That's depressing. We never win. And this year we've got Reuben oh. with us. We basically have no chance. We'll win this time. We're going to win. Because... What are you talking about? Because up to now, we've hated losing. But today, today, my friends, we're going to start learning how to love winning. That didn't sound as good as it did in my head. No, no, I'm with that. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We're thinking about this all wrong. The point of the building competition isn't just to build something. You have to do something to get noticed by the judges. Okay then. So how do we do this? 
We don't just build something functional. We build something fun. After we finish the fireworks machine like we planned, then we build something cool on top of it. You might be onto something. If we want to get a reaction out of yep the judges, you build something scary. So I say we build a creeper. Wouldn't an Enderman be better? I'm more scared of Endermen than creepers. They both have their moments. Both pretty scary. Then again, you scared Endermen the crap cool. out of us with a creeper today. <laughs> Let's build an Enderman. Ah, uh, Olivia's thing? Are you whining? No, I was saying awesome. Yeah, I think this is the first time we've decided on something before getting to the competition. Think we've got everything we need? It wouldn't hurt to grab a little more. Let's get to grabbing then. We're so prepared. We can't lose. Cannot. Bring it in. <laughs> Dare yes, to prepare fish. on Quad three. goals. Nope. Preparing is daring. Nope. That's the same thing. Forget it. Team on three. One, two, three. Team. <laughs> okay, so am I actually okay? Don't have to do anything. Oh my god, this is so weird! I'm amazing. Oh my god, this is so weird! <laughs> freaking bosses that's all that matters we know what we're building we've got all the stuff for it we are so ready this year it's going to be different I'm not just ready to build I'm ready to win nice pig losers <laughs> oh great there's Lucas and the ocelots the rivalry continues man They've got matching leather jackets and everything. So cool. Well, well. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to end that this first episode of Minecraft Story Mode off here. Uh, you can expect more episodes of this in the future and probably soon. And, yeah, that'll be it for today, guys. Bye! <laughs>